guys, you might be wondering why you have to learn reported speech. Well, as a teacher, I could say just because. But in this case, I can give you a good reason why. So watch the video if you want to know more. So, the reason why you need to learn reported speech is... Gossip! I'm sure none of you ever gossip, do you? What? But I personally believe that gossip is a primary function of language. And indeed, the social approach to the origin of language kind of tells us that language evolves for the sake of gossip. <laughs> we use reported speech when we want to tell someone what somebody else said. We need to use a reporting verb and then change the verb tense and some of the words of what was originally said. Today, we'll take a look at how to report statements. And we'll devote the next videos to questions, commands, suggestions, and other reporting verbs respectively. Well, last month, I went to a really nice hotel with a spa with my friend Brie, my sister from another mister. Relax. And when I came back home, I was dying to tell my hubby all about our weekend to the minutest detail, which included telling him every single thing my friend said, word by word. And I could only do so thanks to this grammatical structure. So, listen to what my friends actually said, and then you'll see how I reported it to my husband. Pay attention to the backshift in verb tenses and any other changes that you might spot. The hotel is awesome! Bree said that the hotel was awesome. You can say that or you can omit it. That's up to you. I'm having the time of my life. Bree said she was having the time of her life. I started my own business four months ago. She said she started her own business four months before. My little monkeys were watching The Grinch last night. She said her little monkeys had been watching The Grinch the previous night. I've watched this movie at least four times. She told me she'd watched that film at least four times. I've been looking forward to this getaway for months. She said she'd been looking forward to that getaway for months. I never drunk pink champagne before. She said she'd never drunk pink champagne before. We can leave our sneakers here. She said we could leave our trainers there. You must wear your bathing cap at the pools. She told me I had to wear my swimming cap at the pools. I'll get us some chips and cookies. She said she would get us some crisps and biscuits. I may not be able to stay until lunch tomorrow. She said she might not be able to stay until lunch the following day. I could get used to living like this. She told me she could get used to living like that. And so could I. As you see, could, would and should stay the same. But it's not that the verb tense that changes. Did you notice any other changes? I bet you did. Yay, you said it! We also change pronouns, determiners, and time or place expressions. Take a quick look at this chart so that you can remember all those changes. also have realized that I've used both say and tell to report statements. And although I'm sure you already know, let me remind you that the structure following each of them is slightly different. You say something to someone, but you tell someone something. And now, delight me with your expertise in reported statements and tell me how you would complete the following sentences. Mom, I unlock my unicorn.
Yay! Anya told me that Ellen had broken her unicorn. It's not my fault. Thor did. Alan said that it was not his fault and that Venom had done it. Well guys, I hope I helped you learn or at least brush up on what you already knew about reported statements. Now you are nearly ready to gossip, but stay tuned and watch the next video in which I'll lend you a hand with reported questions.